Hello. So the plan is to work with some of the problems from ISI's BMAP and BSTAT entrance. We start with uh, 2010's objective paper and um, let's start with straight away with the first problem, uh, number one, which is the product of first 100 positive integers ends with how many zeros? So let's uh, closely look at this problem. It says that suppose we multiply the first 100 positive numbers. It will definitely be some number n and um, it will of course end in several zeros. How do I know that? Because of course at least 100 is multiplied to it. So there would be other, other numbers ending at, with zeros multiplied to it. So basically n will have plenty of zeros at the end of it. Question is how many zeros? Now to solve this problem uh, you have to notice that let's let me write it. Notice that each zero is contributed by a 10. Now what do I mean by that? Well, what I mean is that if you do the prime factorization of this number, this huge number, then there will be, so let's prime factorization of this huge number, capital N, will have some power of 2 into it. Of course, there is at least 1, 2, and then 4 will contribute two more twos like this. There will be several twos in this product. So let's suppose two to the power k1 times five to the power k2, some power of five. And of course, there will be other primes also in this prime factorization. The clever thing to realize is this, that each time a 10 is created, we need one two, and one five. Now there are many more twos than fives, right? Because uh, every fifth number here, every fifth number is a is a um, multiple of five, but every second number is a multiple of two. So there are really a lot more uh, five, uh, twos available than uh, the number of fives. So if we look at the number of fives available, then we're done. Because we will, with each of those fives, we will multiply a two to get a 10. And there will be obviously that many twos available, much many more than that, as we just uh, discussed. So. How many fives are available in this product? Uh, of course, every fifth number is, a is divisible by five. So every fifth, fifth number gives a five. So there are, this, this will have, by this method, we will get 100 by five, so 20 fives. But every 25th number will contribute one extra 5. So because they are contributing two 5s and one of them are one of them is counted here in the first round. So let's call this first round of counting. So in the first round of counting, we have counted one 5 from each fifth number there are 20 such numbers now in the second round we look at every 25th number
and there are only four of them 25 50 75 and 100 and each of them contributes one extra five why do I say extra because in the first round this is the second round right second round of counting In the first round, we have already counted one of the fives available in, let's say, 25. We have already counted one of the fives available in 50, in the prime factorization of 50, and so on. So, in the second round, we count one extra, the extra five that is there. So, there are four of them, of course. So, four fives. So, in total, we have 20 plus 4, 24 fives. So this product, this 1 times 2 times 3 up to 100, this product will have 2 to the power something, of course, uh, times 5 to the power 24, and the other primes will also be there. Now, each of these 24 prime, uh, fives will pair up with 24 twos, and there, there are, of course, many more twos available uh, to produce 24 tens in this product, which means we will have 24 zeros at the end of um, this product of 1 to 100. So let's come back to the problem. Mm, the correct answer would be D, uh, which is 24 zeros, of course. Thank you.